You stopped. I'll be done. I did. Where are you going? I'll think of some place. Go on, get going. It's after us. What? The sun. What do you think? Go on, get going. We'll all go mad. Put it up to 70, 80, hell, 90 if you do it. Get some air. Ever try to figure, ever try to figure whether or not the weather's driving you crazy, or are you crazy already? I don't quite understand. Day like today, hot, all hell breaks loose inside your head. Feel like you're gonna split wide open. Lucifer was born in a day like this. Ain't this the summer when the 17-year locusts are supposed to come back? I say, it's I don't here. know. It is. This is the summer. I know. I can feel it. Yes, sir. There's more to the world than people appreciate. If there can be 17-year locusts, why not 17-year people? 17-year people? Sure. Or 24-year people, or 57-year people. I mean, we're so used to people growing up, getting married, having kids. We don't stop to think. Maybe there's other ways of people coming into the world. Maybe like locusts. Like, like locusts? And who's to say there ain't genetic evil in the world? Genetic, ma'am, in the blood. People born evil, grow evil, evil, no changes down the line. Do you mean people who start out bad stay at it? You got the sum, boy. If there are people everyone says are angel fine from their first sweet breath to their last, why not sheer orneriness? From January 1st to December 31st, 365 days a year. I never thought of it that way. What if the intense heat, I mean the really hot heat of a day like this, just baked the ornery man right out of river mud? Been buried down there 57 years like a damn larva waiting to be born. And he shakes himself awake, and looks around, full grown, climbs out of the hot mud into the world. And after a while, along about dark, his old carcass splits wide open, like a snap bean. Now he steps, fresh born, young again, eyes blazing, and says, I think I'll eat me some summer. What? Eat me some summer, boy. Look at them trees. Ain't that old dinner? And that grass down there, by golly, that's a feast. And them sunflowers, there's breakfast. 
tar paper on top of that house. There's lunch. <laughs> and gee, how's the that leak down the road? There's dinner wine. Drink it all until the bottom dries up and splits wide open. Oh, I'm getting kind of thirsty, Aunt Eva. Thirsty? <laughs> Hell, boy. Thirst don't describe the state of a man who's been waiting in the hot mud 50 years and then gets poor and only is dying in one day. Not only thirst, but hunger. Hunger! Not only the trees and the flowers, but the white hot panting dogs. And all the cats in the county. They just glutton happy. Begins to. Why not get around? How does this strike you? Eat people. What? I mean people. Fried, cooked, boiled, and parboiled. Men and women, boys, ladies, fill up the menu. Sharpen your teeth. Lick your chops. Dinner is on. Stop! Out. What? Out. Here? Here, right now. Just get out. But ma'am. Uh... I got a load of Bibles in the back. A pistol with silver bullets here under the steering wheel. I got a box of crucifixes under the seat. A wooden stake taped to the axle and a hammer on the glove box. I got holy water in the radiator filled early this morning at three churches on the way. The steam will get you from that alone now. Out, 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 out! You must be nuts. Crazy! You hear? I'm nuts. I'm crazy. Boy. What are those folks do go crazy with their son? You're nuts. Aunt Neva, I never heard you talk like that before. And you never will again, Doug. Was what you said true? Not a word. You lied. I mean, you lied. Don't you think he was lying too? I don't know. Well, all I know is sometimes it takes a lie to kill a lie. This time, anyway. Oh. Say that again, Aunt Eva. Sometimes it takes a lie to kill a lie. No, the thing about the, the Bibles in the back and the silver bullet. I got a load of Bibles <laughs> in the back. A pistol with silver bullets <laughs> under the steering wheel. <laughs> I mean, there really couldn't be. And Eva, is there another road back to town? No. Nothing can happen to us going home. No. Nothing. Come on. What, Doug? Have a box of crosses under the seat. Going into town? Yeah. What on earth are you doing way out here? Got lost at the picnic. Folks went off and left without me. Oh, land sakes. Sure glad you came along. Kind of spooky out here, huh? Well, come on. Hop in.
Have you ever wondered if there's such a thing as genetic evil in the world?